Confirmation came late Monday that investigators are seeking a woman seen on closed-circuit television CCTV, footage with Danielle Rowe, the little girl who was abducted from school in Portmore, St. Catherine on Thursday and found injured on Roosevelt Avenue in St. Andrew. Later that day, the footage of the woman and child was captured on Roosevelt Avenue. Danielle, who was abducted on June 8 from Brayton Primary and Infant School in Portmore, St. Catherine, was found by a member of the Jamaica Defense Force, JDF, on Roosevelt Avenue. Her throat had been slashed. She was taken to hospital, where she succumbed on June 10. Earlier Monday, Deputy Commissioner of Police in charge of the Crime and Security Portfolio, Fitz Bailey said the police have explored several lines of inquiry and are still pursuing others. Listen and watch what he has to say. What I will say at this time is that the police continues to pursue our investigation, using all the available resources to ensure that justice is done in this, what I consider to be brutal murder of eight-year-old eight Daniel Rowe. I believe that this act of savagery must be abhorred by every law-abiding citizen. I believe that all of us as a nation should demonstrate our collective rejection of this type of violence against our children by saying what we know and isolating those who are involved or those who continue to countenance such action. The police is committed to ensure that the perpetrator or perpetrators are brought to justice. Several lines of inquiries were done and we continue to engage in several lines of inquiries because we are committed to ensure that in this matter, whoever is responsible is brought to justice. Again, we appeal to the public to say what you know. Every law-abiding citizen need to now come forward and demonstrate in a very public way that we are tired of these type of brutality, the level of violence that we see that are being perpetrated. And I mean, across society, um, when you look at the data, I think um, we have not seen an increase in violence against children. But the fact is that one children that is killed is one too many. And we must wake up as a nation and show that we do not tolerate and we must ensure that our children are protected.